Kissing a cat on the mouth is a common display of affection for many cat owners, but it raises an interesting question. Do people ever think about the fact that their feline companions have just licked their butts when they plant that kiss? <coughs> it's important to recognize that the concept of hygiene and what's considered clean differs greatly between humans and cats. While we may cringe at the thought of our cat's tongue coming into contact with areas that we consider unclean, such as the anal region, for cats, this behavior is entirely natural and serves a purpose in their lives. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating world of feline grooming and attempt to answer the intriguing question. When a cat is licking its butt, what exactly is it licking? The Anatomy of a Cat's Posterior Before we can fully understand what a cat is licking during its grooming routine, we must first explore the anatomy of a cat's posterior region. The feline posterior consists of several distinct parts, each serving specific functions. Fur The fur around a cat's posterior is not only a protective covering, but also an area that can accumulate dirt and debris. Cats use their tongues to clean and maintain their fur, removing foreign particles and keeping it clean and healthy. Anal area. The anal area is where things get more interesting. Cats have anal glands located just inside their rectum. These glands produce a smelly, oily substance that is used for marking territory and communication with other cats. When a cat licks its anal area, it may be cleaning these glands and spreading the scent produced by them. Genital area. Cats also groom their genital areas. This grooming serves hygiene purposes and helps in maintaining cleanliness in sensitive areas. Female cats, in particular, may pay extra attention to this area during their grooming routines. Cats are meticulous groomers, spending a significant portion of their waking hours engaged in this activity. The grooming process typically follows a set pattern, regardless of the area being cleaned. Inspection. Before a cat starts licking a specific area, it often inspects it with a few sniffs and sometimes a gentle nudge with its nose. This inspection helps the cat identify any dirt or foreign substances that need to be removed. Licking. Once satisfied with the inspection, the cat uses its tongue to lick the area. The tongue of a cat is covered in tiny backward-facing barbs called papillae. These papillae serve multiple functions, including removing loose fur, dirt, and debris. Saliva. The saliva of a cat plays a crucial role in the cleaning process. It contains enzymes that break down dirt and oils, making it easier for the cat to remove them. Additionally, cat saliva has antimicrobial properties, helping to prevent infection. Swallowing. As a cat licks itself, it often swallows some fur and debris. This ingested material forms hairballs in the cat's stomach, which are later expelled through vomiting or passed through the digestive system. <laughs> Understanding Anal Gland Expression One of the most intriguing aspects of a cat's grooming routine is its attention to the anal area, which includes the anal glands. Anal glands, also known as anal sacs, are small, sac-like structures located on either side of a cat's anus. These glands secrete a pungent, oily substance that is unique to each cat. The primary functions of these glands are territory marking, Cats use the scent produced by their anal glands as a way to mark their territory. When they scratch surfaces or groom their anal area, they can spread this scent, leaving their mark on objects in their environment. Communication. Anal gland secretions can also convey information to other cats. 
This communication can convey a range of messages, including readiness for mating, fear, or distress. Lubrication. The oily secretion from the anal glands may also serve to lubricate the passage of feces during bowel movements. When a cat licks its anal area during grooming, it may be expressing its anal glands and spreading the scent produced by them. This behavior can be especially pronounced if a cat is feeling stressed or anxious, as they may groom more vigorously to reinforce their territorial boundaries. <coughs> Health concerns. Related to anal glands. While anal gland expression is a normal part of a cat's grooming routine, sometimes issues can arise. If a cat is unable to express its anal glands naturally, it may develop problems such as impacted or infected anal glands. These issues can be uncomfortable or painful for the cat and may require veterinary attention. Signs that a cat is experiencing anal gland problems include scooting, dragging their rear end along the ground, excessive licking of the anal area, and a strong, foul odor emanating from the region. If you notice these signs in your cat, it's essential to consult with a veterinarian for diagnosis and treatment. When a cat owner kisses their cat on the mouth, they are likely not thinking about the specific areas their cat has groomed recently. Instead, the act of kissing is an expression of affection and bonding. It's a way for humans to connect with their feline companions, and for many cat owners, the love and companionship they receive from their cats far outweigh any concerns about what their cats may have licked during their grooming rituals. However, it's essential to maintain a balance between showing affection and being mindful of hygiene. Always wash your hands thoroughly after handling your cat or allowing them to lick your face or mouth. While your cat's grooming habits are a testament to their self-sufficiency and cleanliness, it's best to take precautions to ensure your own health and hygiene. <laughs>